Got him that time. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video of Fishing with Ty. So today's video we are focusing on the frog. Let me show you guys what frog I'm going to be using. I got a brand new one tied up. We got a brand new single hook whoop, hook tied up. So I'm going to be showing you guys where and how and what to look for when using the topwater frog. It's starting to get into June. Yeah. So it's end of May, beginning of June. So topwater season is upon us, and I just stuck that in my pocket. So I thought I'd get a video out for you guys. It's probably go live next Tuesday. It's I think May 31st right now. So we ride in line with when you guys start throwing topwater baits. But uh, yeah, hope you guys learn a thing or two. If you learn a thing or two in this video, make sure to let me know down in the comments. Hit that subscribe button if you would so kindly like to. And uh, yeah, let's hop into the video. Ooh, they got the little water feature going. So I'll see you guys when I hit the pump. So the perfect gear to throw this frog is I throw mine on a 7.6 heavy, 50 pound braid. Real doesn't matter too much. I use a 7.5 to 1, but you want something you can really crank them through like this heavy crap. But uh, what is going on over there? Look at that. See that bass chasing bluegill? I want you running up there and spooking that bass off. Saw that bass chasing them bluegill. Yay! Come here. Thanks, baby. Yummy. That was quick. First cast caught a fish, huh? So this is actually the uh, the single hook hook frog by Hell Creek Lure, or Hell Creek Outdoor LLC. Yeah, um, Bonnie, I'm talking real quick, okay? okay? Then you can tell me. But for some reason the single hook, I just absolutely love single hook frogs. Let me the hook up ratio. I feel is better. Comes to cover better because you don't got both them hooks out there. Yes, well, Daddy. Bonnie, hold on. And yeah, if you guys like more information, leave a comment down below and I will get you guys in touch with Brandon. Or you guys can probably order these straight from me. Woo! So mad. It's Look at that. First fish of the day. Yep. Saw a pound and a half, two pound fish. Bluegill. Yeah, you see some bluegill up on shore. Those are one thing you guys can look for, especially during this time of year, is bass chasing bluegill. Chuck a top water up in there. Whether it's a frog or an actual like little spook or something, and hammer him. Meow. Meow. I know. I see you, kitty. Why'd you bring that with you? But some things that I'm going to correlate this frog to is heavy cover. That's why you use a 7.6 heavy. So you use 50 pound braid. It's a lot of this junk and also like there's some little sticks poking out i'm gonna work the outer edges of the sticks and there's really two different techniques that i work this frog so what i'll do i'll keep my rods up low and i'll pop it and i'll normally just pop it once and let it sit pop let it sit 
There's also a second technique that I use quite a bit. Daddy. Hold on, baby. I'll keep rod tip high, and I'll pop the nose of that bait up and let it do this. So basically porpoise in the water. Like that. I mainly do the porpoise over top of grass, but then I'll go rod tip low and I'm going to clear of water. And I mean by clear of water is uh, not as much garbage or vegetation or heavy cover. What? Hold on. So you can use rod tip down and more open water or clear water. It gives it more of a splash and doesn't move the bait that far. That's the main thing you want to get. Move as much water as possible without moving your bait really that far. Do y'all have any luck? Nice. What's the biggest? Um, like a two and a half. There you go. Oop. Where is that kid? Casting near that. Seems like none of these bass moved into their post spawn, which is the best time of year to catch fish off frogs. I'm Very good cadence every once in a while, just kind of like little rapid pops. Let it sit. Go you know, between one and four. I really don't go any more than that. I, I don't try to walk the dog with with a frog or anything. Really, no need to. If I'm gonna walk the dog, I'm gonna grab a spook. I'm just going to fish around these outside of the covers. I'll kind of fish the outsides of them, then I'll work right through the center of them. Sometimes I'll take two, three passes at one spot to really get a fish to, uh, to engage with you, but... You guys throwing top water at all, or just straight uh, wacky worm? The biggest I put out of there was a six. And a 15 inch crappie, I think. They're in there if you can find them. Fishing with tie. Really? Damn, we're getting close to 860 subs now. I'm getting up there. Yeah, I'm filming a, uh, a frog video for next Tuesday's video. Appreciate it. You want to be in it? Uh, I'm, go ahead. Daddy. Any, anybody you want to shout out? Daddy. Hold on. What is it? Fishing, or Jay Spaker. Jay Spaker? Is that your channel? Yeah. I'm going to check it out. Good luck to you, man. She'll be out filming. What are you doing? Catching all these fish. Yeah. Daddy. What? You proud of me? Yeah. What'd you do? My cute fella. Oh, okay. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of me? Yeah, sure. Yeah.
Oh. That was a terrible hook, so it almost fell when I did that. I don't find a bass, but it almost fell in the process. All right, so here's another good looking spot. So you got this little uh, tree that comes off and you got an overhanging tree. This is a good area to work a frog around. Whether it's a little open water, whether it's got moss, cover, junk, hydrilla, whatever, grass, it, it don't matter. Overhanging trees, when they're in their post pond, normally hold fish. Now, when you got an entire bank of, of overhanging trees, you're gonna kinda have to really dive in deep to what, what they're relating to within the trees, but good old thumb, overhanging trees, large mouth. Okay, so fish hits. Wait a second. And just slowly twitch it away. Cause he straight up missed it. He was way behind it. I'm trying to see if he'll come back after it. What I'm gonna do, I'm trying to get that fish to recommit and trying to create some commotion on top of that, that moss patch. So I'm gonna twitch my rod tip down to really drive the nose of the bait into the patch to really move that grass around to create as much disturbance up top as I can. Got him that time. There he is. Good fish. That's a fat fish. That's a good one. On a pet. This is a good fish. This is a very good one. Say, New Year's there. Can I pet it? Yeah, let me get the hook out of him. Here we go, another, another frog fish. I already have a pet fish. Do you want to throw him back? No. All right, I'll throw him back. So he just kept diving the nose of that bait down into that, that weed patch or that moss patch to get him to come back and strike it. Lo and behold, what did he do, Peanut? Huh? Said, lo and behold, what did that fish do? What? He came back and struck it. Good job, proud of you. Don't quit your day job, kid. Yes. So let's continue on. Don't be afraid to pick up a frog, throw it around in super shallow water. It's it's a super fun bite. Like I think top water is probably my favorite. I think it's a lot of people's favorite. And for good reason. It's it's not a it's not slow fishing by any means. And when you get a hit, you know it. And it's just fun to really jack the jaw on a, on a nice summer frog fish. Well, if you guys learned something in this video, some different areas, gave you guys a little bit of my technique on how to fish a frog. Um, I've, all, I've, the first tournament I ever fished, uh, I almost won it by purely using a frog. So uh, yeah, if you guys want to actually watch that tournament video, um i'll put the link down in the description you guys can watch that but uh yeah i'm gonna pop the camera off my chest here if i can hope you guys enjoyed the, oh, wow hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did hit that like button if you guys enjoyed my content make sure that subscribe button you can be doing a lot more fishing make sure we doing we have been doing a lot of fishing so um yeah hit that subscribe button that bell notification guys will be updated when i post a video 
or I might start doing some lives. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, uh, if you guys learned anything, or you guys took away any knowledge from this video, let me know down in the comments. And as always, guys, fish smart, fish safe. And I'll see y'all out on the water. What's your favorite fish to fish for? Catfish. Dog likes fish for catfish.